Hello everyone. To add to this series on Ortho 4XP. I'm going to keep using the artificial voice, and will revert back to my own one afterwards. It just seems more fitting this way. Thank you for all the compliments regarding the previous video as well as all the comments and suggestions that you made. I also appreciate the advice offered and all the questions. Some advice is so new, I never even knew that this program could perform those tasks. I will therefore, stick to the simplistic script for now, and maybe one day, I can do a more advanced part 3 video for you. With part 2, I hope to answer the questions and also bring more clarity to the next steps, when you make your second and further batches of ortho tiles. Let me start by showing you my folders again. My main destination folder is at the top. There is one small difference in the location of my ortho folder. Yesterday I used my G drive, and today I am using my H drive. This came about due to the fact that I wanted to make this second video, and I already created plenty of new tiles since yesterday. By moving the folder I hope that, you also understand that you can literally put the main destination folder on any of your hard drives. The most important fact to always remember, is that the shortcuts in your X-Plane must reflect the correct file destination locations. If they are broken and pointing to the incorrect place, X-Plane will not be able to use them. At the bottom of the screen, you can see my X-Plane folder and the old shortcuts of the overlay and tiles from yesterday. So what I am going to do now is, I am going to delete those shortcuts because, you should never have broken or double shortcuts in your X-Plane custom scenery folder. Once this is completed, I will show you a few more tips and tricks. In order for X-Plane to forget the shortcuts you have two options. Option 1 is, to start X-Plane and exit at the first menu screen. Option 2 is to use X-Organizer, like me. Let the program run its course and just make sure that it actually removed the shortcuts. When done you can close the program as usual. We are now ready to start Ortho 4 XP. You are welcome to minimize the background window, just like in the previous video. The first thing to do is to choose your provider. I try and keep the same provider, in the same area as, it generally gives you better color matching. The next thing to do is to select your destination folder. Today I will use the folder in the H drive, as already explained. By doing this, we can use the built-in map, in Ortho 4 XP, to see our progress. We can now see what tiles are completed already. It is now easy to repeat the steps, as per, the previous video. I am going to double-click an area to select it as active. The yellow box will appear. Next, I will press and hold my keyboard shift button, and single-click each tile that, I want to add to the batch of tiles that must be created. Before you start the batch, you need to remember to select the check boxes, on the left side of the map window, as shown. When ready, press batch build and let the program run. During the run or after it has completed you may use the refresh button to let the program reload the map to show you the progress. Upon completion of this task, you will need to open the ortho 4 XP folder to see the new overlay folder. The process will also be much easier, if you also have the destination folder and the X-Plane custom scenery folder open on the same screen. You are now required to move the overlay folder to the destination folder, seen here on the right side of the screen. You can do this by using the cut and paste commands. The overlays, will then merge with the existing folder and join all the newly created tiles in the same location. At this time, you are now ready to copy the shortcuts to your X-Plane custom scenery folder. Please make very sure that you use the copy and paste shortcut commands. Start by selecting all of the folders in the ortho destination folder. Now right click on the selection and choose copy. When done, go to your X-Plane custom scenery folder and right click then select paste shortcut. Loading the ortho tiles and overlays into X-Plane brings us back to a previous step option. Option 1 is, to start X-Plane and exit at the first menu screen. You will then be required, to edit the scenerypacks.ini file manually and move the new tile inscriptions to the bottom, just above the mesh position as before. Option 2 is to use X-Organizer, again. Let the program run its course and just make sure that it actually add the shortcuts. When done you can close the program as usual. Congratulations, you are now done and can go and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Simply start X-Plane now and go fly. One more tip before I go. During this process of creating ortho tiles, the program downloads a lot of files that are no longer useful unless you want to recreate the tiles later again. If you are done and do not believe that you will require them anymore, 
I highly recommend that you remove them from your system and follow these steps to accomplish the task. Go back into the program folder. Open the following folders and then delete each folder's contents. Elevation data. Masks. Ortho photos. And OSM data. By removing these files you will save a lot of disk space. This concludes episode 2 of the Ortho 4 XP tutorial series. I hope that you found it useful and that you will tell your friends about it. Thank you.